Good evening everyone, how are you doing? Oh, just, excuse me, I've just taken my hair, some plaits out my hair. Um, how are you all doing? So, you might have seen a few of my videos yesterday when I was at, um, <clears throat> where were I at? Yorkshire Wildlife Centre in Doncaster. Um, had fun, tired afterwards. Got stuck in like a really bad weather. Hello. Oh, you give me kisses. Oh, meow, meow. This is Sooty. Hello, Sooty. What's down? So, yeah, I'm in my bedroom because I, I just thought Olivia's sleeping out tonight. Sorry, I just have my dinner, so I've got a bit of chicken stuck in my teeth. Olivia's staying out at her friends tonight. And I thought this good, might be a good chance to have a chat about something that is bothering me so much. And I could tidy my room as well because half the mess that's in my room right now is down to Olivia. Um, so, we had, I had a bit of a crisis with Olivia a few days ago. I'm like, I think it might be Wednesday. Well, not too sure. Um, she was having a kind of like meltdown, but like a breakdown type thing. I've never seen. I didn't think kids could do it, but she was having a full on meltdown. And uh, I won't get into it because that's it'll trigger me off. I get upset. She she was really she wasn't herself. She was really down. But then I spoke to the cams and they, they're giving some numbers to ring. Anyhow, so by that, this is what kind of like my decision. It's like decisions, decisions, decisions about what I'm about to say. And it's something that's been playing on my mind since then, since she started like this, because she's refusing to go to school. And she, I don't like you know you know when some kids have difficulties and Sutti, what are you doing? One second. What are you doing? That's my door. Um. So. <clears throat> Hello. Not cats just vaged. Um. So. One second. I'm kind of tired in the present talking. So, I've been leaning more to homeschooling because I don't think the school environment is helping Olivia's mental health. And I went to visit her high school today, was meant she's got a place for, and that did not go great. In fact, when I left, we left after the meeting, she had a meltdown and that were it for the rest of the afternoon. Um, they basically said because, because Olivia has a stoma and she she's had it since two thousand seventeen and she will not look at it. She won't entertain it. She won't clean it. I've got to do all that. And the teachers have said at high school basically right bluntly, "Well, you're going to be a young adult. You need to do stuff yourself." We are not going to do it. So I'm like, that even made it more thingy about the homeschooling. Sorry if you can hear a little scrapey noise. The cats are in the, in the cat litter. They always choose the moments, don't they? So, <clears throat> that kind of thingy it for me. And I thought, well, I'm not going to say anything just yet. Sorry, guys. I just had to pause because there's some going by and I don't really what I'm hearing the kittens are whining so where were I um so today was a big you know these schools are meant to be disabled friendly and they're not basically she said to her well when you come she's supposed to be having help a, a day next week she's supposed to be going and she ain't going now I'm just gonna I don't know what I'm going to say because I'm not going to tell anybody about 
my dis I'm still not sure. I I am sure that I want to homeschool her, but then I'm like, because mm, I've got a piece of paper with her over there. I said, look, if this is what we're gonna do, what what would you like to learn? Because I know in school these days they, they learn everything, and it doesn't really count later on in life, does it? <laughs> I mean, the stuff I didn't, I could not register. I had difficulty learning in school, and I said, well, what's the matter, Millie? Eh? I've got nothing for you to eat. Where's the dog? Can you see up there? Look. There. I think she's getting fed. But yeah. It's not, it's the, it's an, don't you dare. Kittens are the worst than kids, so it is a hard decision, and I'm still, I do want to do it, but I'm a bit thick, if you know what I mean. But I have researched it, and one of my friends, she homeschools her kids, so we could do it together, and like visit museums, and I've, you know, not like I said to Olivia, look, this is the case. You cannot wake up and refuse to do anything, because at the minute she's stubborn and she'll. Won't do nothing. She won't even do. Won't even get a drink for herself. You know, it's pain in the bum. So I've said that to her. I said, well, if this is gonna be the thing that you, I think, to be honest, if I send her to school, it, I think you know, it's. I'm just gonna be fighting with her on a morning. And this new school's got to be at school at quarter past eight till three o'clock. And I'm like, is she really gonna cope? Because she even said when she like, I'm not doing it, I'm not touching my butt. But she's doing an operation in about, she's on the wait list for an operation to get it reversed. So she ain't going to have it for long. And I keep trying to explain that to her. Thought I'd run out. I didn't get my, I haven't got my prescription today because, I don't know if you've seen my video earlier. I did a YouTube short yesterday and the heavens opened. And it was flooded where, where we was driving. And uh, it it did that, but where I lived, on up the road, was bone dry. So today it's done it, and it's the time where I needed to go to the pharmacy. So the time it stopped, psst, it shut. So I've just got enough enough certain tablets to get me. This. Well, I'm missing one tonight, and that's my restless leg one, which I'm hoping my legs are not going to be a pain in the bum. <clears throat> and it's good, they're going to be nice to me. <laughs> Anyone else suffer with restless legs? I even tried this cream. Doesn't do anything. Psst, psst, psst. Out of my no, do not click my one second, guys. These kittens. I'm back. Sorry. Um, I had to go and sort the kittens out. Normally, I'm just trying to. I've got Olivia's medical supply delivered today, so I thought, hmm, Olivia doesn't want uh, one of the toy boxes, so I thought that'll come in handy, because at the minute I'm just using this little tiny thing. <sighs> sorry, I have to keep... Oh, sorry, one minute. <laughs> See Miller, she's catching. She, I've got to open the window; it's a bit warm. So yeah, homeschooling. Is anyone else homeschool their children? It's coming a thing in it now because some kids can't cope with school, and I think that's what it is with Olivia. Uh, my eldest daughter Hannah, she's autistic, and she struggled with school, but she managed to. Finished first of her education in college. Ugh. Every month you get the boxes of stormers, and today I was waiting. <laughs> I shook. In fact, I shrunk off because it really upset Olivia. Right. I don't know what I've done with it. Um. Anyway, I shrunk off. It's not <laughs> it's funny now, but. <clears throat> At the time, Olivia wasn't laughing. I got, we thought we ordered uh, a Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse suitcase because she's got a residential next week, and she, she's 
kitchen obviously needs something to carry all a medical supplies, a sleeping bag. I mean, it's only an overnight thing, but so I thought, oh, I, mean, I read it wrong, she read it wrong, and when it <laughs> when it arrived today, it wasn't a Minnie Mouse suitcase, it was a Minnie Mouse <sighs> suitcase cover, and Uncle, I think she was about to cry, she did, she basically got really upset, and I thought, oh dear, so I said, tonight, when we, well, after I've sorted the flat out a little bit, I'll have a look and see if I can find a medium size um, suitcase. Whoops, it is it. That's just me trying to get oh, such a hard job this. In fact, I don't know why I've got these because I don't need them. But I don't get it. It's why are you going it on? I mean, I keep these in the Thingy because we taught use these and I can give them back to the nurse because they just make a leak and it's not nice seeing your kids with I haven't got pick up because she's got a med and mega leakage going on and it's not fair on them is it? And this, these are good for removing plasters as well you know, the kids are scared of you of getting it ripped off them. In fact, I need to go to Aldi and get some baby wipes. I do a big pack of six baby wipes. If they're coming under. Don't know. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's something of mine. <laughs> don't feel great. So, yeah. That kind of backfires on with the um, suitcase, but. Do you see one of my videos? Oh, sorry, it's just it's my mind just clicked back about the polar bear. You see it, it looked like it was twerking. <laughs> it, it was so it was funny, is it? Looked like, it looked like it was probably twerking. Shaking its bum out. Yep. So I've been looking on Amazon for for books, you know, like activity books and I'm going bin, not going bin because it's not sanitized. Um yeah, so I've ordered some year seven books and activity books and I'm gonna get some like packs of paper because you obviously you've got to write down what they've been learning. So it's all in my head, I know what to do, but when it comes to it, if she, I'm scared she's just going to say, yeah, mum, I'll do it, and then not bother. But, that's what's scary. And then, oh, these are a bag for a stoma, look at here. I use them for dog poo. A lot stronger. I use nappy, uh, they give me nappy bags, so it's, they're a lot easier to use than these long things because they're not exactly big so you're getting poop everywhere sorry oh no get, oh, did i send that did i send away a pack of baby wipes i can't remember yeah i think i did they can go downstairs by the front door so that's that sorted one job done and another one too yeah, so that's a calm's letter. I need to save that. But yeah, I think old school and Olivia, I think that's the way to go because I don't think she's going to get any, any better. Just everywhere, sorry. Disturb a little bit and then. Oh, what's the biscuit doing there? That'd be a, that's Olivia. You know, when she sits in the bedroom. And uh, she sits on a phone, but she comes into my room. And every man and his dog's in here. <laughs> I'll just put my medication in my top drawer, because I don't, I don't want you to see that. 
I got my angel card. Shall we do an angel card? Sorry if you can see dust everywhere. It's just I've got a pee there. I don't know what it's for. I don't know if it's mad. <gasps> no, I can't do that. They'll blow my brains off if I eat it. Airwaves. <laughs> Probably gets to you. I've opened my window now. My curtains have shut itself. Sorry if I'm rambling on. I just don't. I don't know what to do for the best. I wanted to go to school because it's more sociable, you know, making friends. <sighs> Excuse the dust because now I'm just shoveling my cards and dust is everywhere. I have let my housework go a little bit this week because I've been dealing with Olivia. And, if, <laughs> you know, I don't want to record her having a, a moment because it is, it's not nice to see. It isn't nice to see. Easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundant abundance requires a gentle approach to life and work. But yeah, she needs... So I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. That's our routine. I get up, let the dog out, let the cats in, feed the animals and then do a pat lunch juice for the day because she won't drink water and she needs to have medication mother call which helps her bowels move and then it's wakey wakey i have a cup of tea in between so it's usually about 20 past seven the time i finish because i'm so it's i'm not used to doing it now it's fast and um i can be like that till after eight sometimes it can be after eight o'clock and it's constantly I, I don't argue with her she just doesn't she likes to have the last word it's like no yeah it's like that it just feels like it's, it feels like that constantly with Olivia and I think if that's how it's gonna be every day then I'd rather uh, do it at home set a, a, obviously have a routine and do a timetable and saying you've got to be up at this certain time do one bit and i think uh, i'll probably get some tutors in to do an english and maths because that is not my strong point maths i hate I can't. maths don't mean numbers don't mean out to me I, I can look at a number and you know i just don't know what to do with them maths is just such a hard thing for me to do where someone could look People enjoy it. I'm like, mm, you mad? <laughs> I don't know how to do maths. I don't. I'm thick. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, I'll find the school. But I think she might may learn more from me. And I've got a printer, so I can find work online. My friend's giving me a website that she uses and. Her kids seem to be doing really well with that. So, I'll give that a go. I just need to buy, buy some ink now. I need to get a little desk and stuff like that. So, it might benefit me as well at the same time. Le uh, learning, so, sorry, I got itchy doors there. Her learning stuff that will probably reignite my memory. I hope. Because I have trouble with my memory and I am having a break, uh, uh, a fibro flared up these past, well, today because I was on my feet all day yesterday and it was sunny right until we were nearly home and that's when the ovens opened. I had a good day, enjoyed watching the tigers. Did you see it where the, the guy, I can't remember the name of the tiger, but he called it. And it come out at trees and, da, 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 and it threw this big chunk of meat. Now that that freaks me. I don't like seeing raw meat. Or like, <laughs> but then I just sat watching the tiger eat and then it then we went to the other side and there was another tiger. There were girls. I thought one of them were a boy, but it ain't no both girls. And he threw meat to that one and he she she just picked it up and walked off. And I liked the polar bears. Now, I saw two pure white ones. They're the two-year-olds. The mum, apparently, rejected them. It's like two and a half now. You can defend for yourself. And she has a daughter. But they've left the daughter in with her to see if she can make a bond with her. I don't know that because we, we went into a workshop and we got taught. Uh, we got 
told a few things, sorry, I'm just doing this. And Olivia, she was in the middle of a meltdown because it didn't help the teachers saying at the beginning, we're going to do this, which is telling the kids, fair enough, we're going to do this. And at the end, we'll go to the shop. That's the only reason why Olivia wanted to be there, the shop. But I had to be there because the teachers won't clean Olivia's sticky. She had a leak. Thankfully, she didn't have a leak. So, but it was a good day out for me as well. Um, so, it got to lunchtime. No, before lunchtime, the kids were all like, oh, when we're we going to the shop, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, you know. And it was a long day and it was really hot. And the teacher said, well, if we've got time, we'll go to the shop. I thought, oh my, look, that's it. I thought kids went, they didn't want to know then. And I don't blame them because they can't say one thing and then not say, and then do another. So I, keep, I keep thinking I've got food there, but it's my dimple. Don't like it. <laughs> and um, so I kind of get where the kids are coming from. And they were annoyed, they were upset, and that was it for Olivia. She didn't want to know for the rest of as soon as he said that, that was it. Because she was she was with me. She didn't want anyone near me either, so it was like, mm, moody Margaret she was. We had our lunch, she was right, we should have dinner, but after that, she didn't even want to listen to the lady that was telling us stories about the animals and other stuff. Sorry if I'm boring you, but... She had, a, she had a meltdown, she was kicking dirt, she was just being very rude. Well, I won't say rude, she was just being, she has no filter, she just says as it is. And by gun, I had it, I had Eric, time I finished. Luckily, the session of the little school thing finished, so we did, get, we all went to wash our hands, because, oh, they had these massive, what? snails huge and the past i went no oh, no keep it all there and hissing cockroaches i went yeah i'll just look from over here i don't do that I, olivia was brave enough afterwards to touch the snail i went don't touch your mouth wait just do not touch Blah. kids were holding this snail on its hand all like oh my lord i was having a, I was like <laughs> you're brave you're brave i couldn't do it they showed us a skull of a lion. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's twice the size of our heads. And what else for it? Um, some camel fur. I'm like, never saw any camels there. <sighs> I saw a giraffe and it sat, it was sat out in the field with its tongue out. Mm. <laughs> it was so funny. I like giraffes. Um, but that was it really and once she got to the shop and then it uh, cost me 43 quid I thought oh my god what have you done to me Olivia you broke me this is the only reason why I didn't want to go because this is what would happen but she got a teddy and she got this crab but it was full of I don't know what it is it's like is it sand inside it's is it a beanie I don't know what you call them she got that and I got an umbrella because I thought I need an umbrella around and it had leopards print on it so I thought I got to get that so yeah and then we headed back to the coach and ended up getting stuck in traffic and we ended up about an hour late back to school so we got there for about five o'clock but the Evans opened didn't it so they flooded the roads the bus driver could not see out the window because the rain was just coming and hail stone and I said to Tom I'm going to be late home and he goes what what rain it's dry as out over here I went oh well that by where we were, I'm not going to give you the street. And it was absolute, I've never seen, well, I've seen rain like that before, but I've been indoors. I'm thinking, I hope that stops because we're getting a taxi home if that's raining. And she's like, no. And I thought, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So it's decisions, decisions. Leave, leave me a comment if you homeschool your children because... I'm a bit nervous, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to lie, that it's freaking me out, but I've got to do what's best for my child, and at school at the minute is not, it's not the best, and it's just making her not an happy child, and especially when the teachers are doing what they're doing to her, refusing to clean, clean a stormer, and when they do, they're making gippy noises at her, and it's making her feel 
like it's her fault she's got this. But you know, making a child, you're an adult. Come on, you've had kids with poopy nappies. What are you doing? <coughs> Millie, stop barking, there's no one there, it's just the kittens. So, anyway, guys, mm, teachers should never make a child, you know, and I heard, I, before I go as well, two teachers did not get on the coach, they went by car. All because they thought, if a kid's sick, I'm going to be sick. Well, I, I don't deal with sick, but I sat on that coach and I thought, and there were a kid behind me, and I'm thinking, please, you know, but you deal with it, don't you? They should not favour favor these teachers. Those teachers should have been made to get on that coach, whether you've got a fear of sick or not, you know what I mean? You're there to look after the kids. Anyway, I'm going to go because Tom's shouting and he's on his Xbox and he's saying a few sweaty words and I don't like it, so I'm going to have a word. So, I'm sorry if this has been a bit of a jumbled blog, but my mind's a bit, don't know what to do for the best. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll get through it and you always do, don't you? You've got to look out for your kids and especially the mental health is the most important thing to do and that's what I'm doing. So anyway guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you liked the vlog. If you did, please press like, subscribe and press the notification button and I will catch up with you in the next day or two. Bye.